Hello, welcome back to another Transfer Daily. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for the really kind comments that were in the comment section on our last video. Very encouraging and it was positive for the future. I'd, um, I saw some of the comments about my tone of voice, which I will take on board. I'll try to improve in the future. However, those of you that know me in person know that naturally my voice is very low anyway. It's it's not me being un unenthusiastic, it's just naturally how low my voice is and there's not much I can do about it. I'll try and improve on it in later videos. Now onto the transfer news, and there's a lot of transfer news. Firstly as well I'd like to touch on season ticket news. Um, they're, not running, they're not doing season tickets this season, which makes sense given they don't really know how many games fans are going to be able to go to. So if you bought a season ticket on the early bird deal, like I did, I bought my home and away season ticket then. It just carries to next season. If you didn't, to get tickets for the games that are available this season, you enter a ballot, which gives you a chance to go in, in the low numbers. Hopefully, the fans can be back as soon as possible. Hopefully, we'll see a sell out Hawthorns before the end of the season. I don't know how likely that is, but fingers crossed, because there's some great fixtures, and the lads need all our support in the survival campaign. Back to transfer news. A lot of news. Uh, the biggest news uh, regarding Abriche as a reporter from the Athletic and Joseph Massey is that we've um, agreed to pay £17 million plus £4 million in add-ons over the next four years for uh, to sign Eze. Um, we'd be selling it, buying it, um, we'd be buying him oh, £4.5 million a year over the next four years. Now, I personally think this is a fantastic signing. However, Crystal Palace are already in the running and his desire is to go there. So, although it looks unlikely, there's still a chance we could get him and it's great news regarding people's worries about us not committing. I believe it shows a lot of positivity. I believe it shows that the club want to invest. And fingers crossed, this is signs that we will be putting some good investment in over the transfer window. It doesn't matter how much we spend as such, as long as we get good players. But this is definitely a positive sign. Also, big news is that we are in, we are apparently in advanced talks with Carl and Grant. There's definitely an interest. This was reported by the Athletic. Hopefully, I mean, I think Carl and Grant would be a good signing. It's a little bit risky, but he would be better than what we currently have in terms of he has an eye for the goal. He got 18 goals last season in the Championship for a team that barely scored any. So I think he'd be a fantastic signing. Also on the striker front there is Troy Deeney. Now, this one was very mixed reactions on Twitter. I I would be delighted, personally. I think he's an experienced striker. Um, he has Premier League experience, which is vital for us. We, he knows where the goal is, and more importantly than all of that, he hates Aston Villa, so we should sign him. I'd, lo I'd love him, and he, we're currently leading the race to get him according to Sky Bet. Well, I think he'd be a fantastic signing. Um, other news, this isn't as certified, but we're in the running for the Brighton keeper, um, Button, as a backup keeper, 1 million. Again, I said I think this would be a decent signing. We do need, it's always good to have three choice keepers and it probably affords Alex Palmer the chance to go out on loan again. I think he would need that, maybe at a um, League One Championship club, uh, up his game a bit. We're still in the running for Shane Duffy, however it looks like he's more likely to go to Bright, um, to Celtic. And Celtic are looking to offload one of their defenders, and we might be in the running for him. I can't remember his name, it's quite a complicated name, but... You'll, you'll be able to find that information online. Um, so it might be one in, one out on the Celtic turf. Which is good, we need a defender. Overall, I think the transfer news today has been very positive. Shows that Albion are hopefully looking to commit in this transfer window. And get Billich the players he needs to help us survive. Maybe even do well this season. Now, I'm, I'm confident, I'm a very optimistic person. I think that we will survive. But this will go a long way towards aiding that. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for the kind comments on the latter video. 
Again, if there's anything I can improve on, let me know. This isn't going to be a quick process. Sorry for those who think I'm a bit boring at the minute. It's going to take a bit of time and a bit of practice. But let me know how you thought. Hopefully this was a bit better. And I'll see you in the next one. Comedy values.